Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to modify the lights on your arrow garden. Uh, currently this arrow garden takes 26 watt uh, 1700 lumen bulbs that you have to buy from arrow garden because it has a special socket. So what we're going to do is replace the socket with a regular medium socket and this is a 42 watt bulb so we're going to be running a lot higher lumens. This is a, a 2800 lumen bulb and this is an old arrow garden. It's from 2006. I bought it brand new back then. And this is an Arrow Garden Classic, and you can tell that because the Classics have this here, little strawberry option, and they don't have that anymore. So anyway, let me show you what I'm going to do. Okay, first thing you need to do is remove the light section. That's pretty easy. Just like this. Don't need this piece. And here we have the light section. And what we're going to do is remove the screws from here, 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 down here, another one down here, right here, here, and here. And I'll do that right now and open this thing up. Alright, screws are loosened. We're just going to flip the top. Get the screws out and gather them all up. Oh, this one didn't quite come out. Out. There we go. And we'll just open up like that. And we don't need this piece. There's no wires or anything in that. And this is the piece that we're going to be working with. Okay, what we're going to be doing, as you can see here, is these are the old sockets, and they just slide right out of their socket holders, and you can see that these are the um, goofy uh, arrow garden sockets that you can't buy light bulbs for at the store. So we're going to get rid of these and replace them with one of these. This is just a medium base light socket and uh, has two wires coming off of it and we're just going to hook it right up. Okay, in order to fit that socket in here, we're going to have to get rid of this nub here and this nub here. And what I'm going to do is just grind them off with a grinding stone. Alright, these sockets have nothing to screw into. But what I need to do is attach it to the base of the light picture somehow. So what I did, I came up with this. It's an aluminum cutting. And I'm just going to use some JB Quick and cement it onto the light socket. And then put it in there. And cement it to the edge of the light reflector. Okay, to make this aluminum sleeve, I use some aluminum dryer vent. You can get this at any hardware store, and it cuts really easy. You can see I've been using it for other stuff. And I cut a uh, circle. This is a two and a quarter inch circle, since my socket here is uh, one and a quarter inches, so it gives me some space around it. And then I just traced it, and then Cut it out with scissors. Scissors will cut through this stuff, but you'll probably dull your scissors pretty fast, so use an old pair. Okay, once you have your aluminum circle cut, just put the socket on there and center it best you can. And then trace around it with a pencil. Now we have a circle. Okay, now using a 3 8 inch drill bit, just gonna drill the center out of this thing.
Okay, now that we have our hole drilled, as you can see there, we're going to cut toward the outside of the circle like a pizza. You can see how I've done it here. And that way we can bend them later on and they'll grip onto the socket. Okay, as you can see here, I have the slices put into the aluminum going to the outer edge of the circle. And I'm just going to take some pliers and bend each one. Out like that. Okay, now that we have all the pieces bent out like that, just insert the socket. And it fits right around like that. Now we're just going to use some JD Weld on all of these pins. Okay, I have it all mixed up and I have to work pretty fast because this stuff is going to dry very fast. I'm just going to paste it all around where the fins are going to go. Okay, then I'm just going to slide the fins up into place. And then I'm just going to take some electrical tape and put it around the whole outside of the fins to hold it down. And there we go, that's pretty solid. That's going to hold really well. Okay, now it's time to put the socket into the fixture. And what I did here was cut part of the aluminum flashing off so that it would fit better in the hole. And we're just going to use some JD Weld on the outside of this and then put it into place. Like that. And then push all against it and hold it in place for about five minutes so get comfortable while that stuff dries. Okay I let the weld dry for about five hours which is plenty of time and it's hard as a rock it's not going to move anywhere. So our next step is going to be to wire these things up and remove the old ones. Okay now to wire it up it's very simple all I'm going to do is cut this wire Use some wire cutters, strip the wire, <clears throat> and twist them together and put a wire nut on there. And same here, I'm going to cut these two, twist it together with this one, and put a wire nut on there. And then do the same over here. Very simple. Okay, now that I have everything wired together, I'm just going to secure it with some electrical tape so nothing gets pulled out. And then do the same here.
Okay, I just put the lid back together. I'm going to put the screws in now and everything fits nicely. Okay, as you can see, I put in a bulb here already. Putting this one in, this is a 42 watt. It's the biggest you can put in here. I don't think anything else would fit. These are cheaper and they are brighter than the original Aero Garden lights. So let's give it a test here. There we go, it works. And you can see how bright that is. And that blows away the original Aero Garden lights. So I'm going to put this thing together, get it up and running, and I have some tomatoes that are dying to get in this thing. Okay, I put it to the test. It's been three weeks now, and there are no problems with this. I'm pretty happy with it, and so is that tomato plant in there. That's a red robin tomato, and you can see how green and healthy that thing looks. Well, I hope this helps you guys, and uh, that's all for this time. Take care, everybody.